Uh, good evening and uh, welcome to the premiere of um, Echoes. This is the first screening in Asia and India. And um, I'm stepping in for the director. And uh, I know a lot of you personally knew the director, Rajesh Shira, um, who sadly passed away a few months back. And uh, of course, losing somebody you know is always difficult um, as a friend. But um, above all, his family members, please enjoy the film. Thank you. Uh, it was a 35 millimeter camera. Um, I'm not actually sure the model of the camera. It was a film. This is quite interesting since it's probably one of the last um, pretty low budget films to be shot with a film camera. Um, I thought, I mean, both Shira and I thought that um, film would be the best medium because, um, especially in the forest and picking up all of those kind of subtleties in um, with the leaves and the, the texture of uh, the place which was so important in this film um, it was important to have a film camera which could pick all of all of these things up yeah i mean generally with this kind of film um the first kind of point into the industry is to screen at festivals such as this and then um, you know hopefully pick up a sales agent and a distributor on the way so um yeah, I mean, this kind of film, obviously, it's more difficult than more mainstream films to sell, but um, there's always a market for this kind of film. And um, with Rajesh Shira's uh, previous film, um, you know, there's a kind of over-established, and, you know, that's, that's something which we'll be coming to. I mean, the, the location that we shot this um, was, was Sink Island in the Andamans. Um, the reason why they didn't have mobile was because there was no reception there, but um, part of this part of the story is contemporary. So the the young couple um, go out on an adventure to an island. That's a contemporary story. But um, the um, the main hero was kind of having these memories of being uh, a previous person, um, and he's a reincarnation of that person. And that's supposed to be set sometime during the interwar period. So. Um, the Andaman Islands, they used to be, um, obviously when the British were um, in control of India, the Andaman Islands, there was an important penal colony there which housed Bengali uh, prisoners of war and then there was a big military base there. Uh, so there's quite a lot of history of um, British servicemen who were, who were there, which is the kind of um, historical context of the film. Um, yeah, I mean, Obviously, it's a kind of poetic license, but I mean, she, she, she died, I guess, of a broken heart, but that's also not really explicitly. Yeah, I'm also, as uh, Raja Shir is here, but, you know, obviously in, in his absence, um, I'd, I'd like to thank him, and uh, you know, I'm really pleased with how the film's come out, and uh, it's, it's a good, I'd, I really recommend you watch his first film, Ocean of an Old Man, as well, and you get an idea of how he approached his work, and, um, you know, we're all, coming to films like this because we want some kind of unique cinematic experience and um, I wanted to work with Shiro because he has that in bucket loads and uh, so yeah please go ahead and look, uh, look at his previous films.